Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, in the previous video, we had seen the usage of uh, get uh, uh, get tag name and get attribute value in Selenium. Now, in this video, we'll be seeing some more functions which are get location, get size, and get CSS value in Selenium. So, first we'll see their usage, and then we'll see how do we do it practically. So in Selenium, get location method is used to retrieve the location of the web element on the page. So basically, it returns a point object representing x and y coordinates of the top left corner of the elements bounding a rectangle. So it is basically to get the location in terms of uh, its rectangular position on the page and it returns a point object value. So when I will uh, execute the program, execute this particular method in the program, you will see what does it mean. Then we have get size method, which is used to retrieve the size of the web, web element, typically in terms of its width and height. Okay, and it returns a dimension object, which represent the width and height of the elements bounding a rectangle. Then again, we have one more method, which is get CSS value. It is used to retrieve the value of the CSS property of a web element. Okay, it returns a string representing the value of a specified CSS property applied to the element. So basically, if we have we have a web, web element. Okay, which which is uh, uh, donated by this particular element and for CSS value we can simply call the get CSS value and retrieve the value of this CSS selector or uh, CSS property okay color so let's see the usage uh, one by one in Eclipse so first of all we are using this particular web page for the purpose of showing the demo so let's say i am using this uh, method known as uh, sorry i'm using this web element button okay so let's do the right click and open the developer tool first of all i'll be needing the x path of this particular web element okay so here let's write the x path first i'm copying previous web element to write the x path so let's make it button only okay button and let's make the x path from here so control f so starting from the double slash and then the tag is button and then i'll be writing the what did it give uh, ID I think okay so let's find out the ID okay ID equals to ID of button so here I can simply take ID equals to button so you can see we have the x path here so web element button is equal to diver dot find element by dot x path and here I am copying the x path as it is okay so here I have got the web element for this particular button now i want to print the uh, location location of this particular um, web element okay so let's see what i'm doing is i am simply storing the location in a string so a string location of the button equals to uh, button dot get location okay and then uh, so guys you can see it is giving an error here because what we have discussed that uh, sorry that it returns the point object okay so it returns an object of this point class representing the x and y coordinates so here we cannot use a string as um the return type so here we are changing this type to the point okay uh, now it says import point uh, so because i haven't imported the related package where the point class is given so i'm simply importing it now you can see what i have to do is now i have to print the x and y coordinate for this uh, element 
so we can simply write system dot out dot println the x and y uh, coordinates of this elements are firstly location dot x and let's use comma here and location dot y so these are the coordinates which we need to print now let's run this program Let's see the output. Okay, so you can see the x and y coordinates of these elements are 186 and 892. So this is how we use this uh, get location uh, method in Selenium. Then we have another method which is known as uh, get size method. It is also used to retrieve the size in terms of width and height of the element. So it returns the dimension object. Okay. So let's try this one as well. So I am just copying the same pattern here. And I'm using the same element. Okay. But here I'm using dimension. And let's write the variable name as size. Okay. Then gets i'm using button dot get size method okay now you can see again i have to change the size button to dimension okay so first i have to import the method as well uh, let me so let's add the import here uh, import dot dimension okay so it has been imported um let's remove it from here um, remove it from here now you can see why it's showing the error now i have imported it import org okay dimension has been imported it's still showing it's two dimension let me check if these two dimensions are same okay guys so the error is fixed now because uh, uh, it was giving error because i had imported the dimension from awt package instead of selenium package so now i had added the selenium package you can see I can call the dimension size button equals to button dot get size. Okay. Now I have to print uh, the width and height of this particular button. So I'm simply removing this from here x and y coordinates and I'm writing width and height. These elements are size button dot width and size button dot height okay so now let's run it now you can see the width height of this elements are 102 and 49 okay now we have one more method which is get css value so i'll be showing the usage of get css value in the next video
and if you have any suggestions feedback or questions please write down in the comment and please like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you guys bye